All right, so there's been a lot of confusion over animations and transferring animations from one skeleton to another in Godot, and I want to clarify that here. Um, a lot of people are thinking of it as I've got model A from Mixamo or from wherever, I've got model B from Mixamo or wherever, maybe homemade, and I want to transfer my animation data from model A to model B. And if you're thinking about it that way, it's just I need to move animation data from A to B, that's the wrong way to think about it, and it will make it harder for you to troubleshoot what's actually going on and solve these problems for yourself when things aren't working. What's actually going on is Godot has its own skeleton structure. And you're not trying to transfer the data from one to another. What you're trying to do is make one skeleton Godot compatible, and then you want to make your other skeleton Godot compatible. And when you do, the animation data also becomes Godot compatible. And then you're going to save that animation data separate from the model. At that point, that separated animation data can be used on any model, and it doesn't care as long as that skeleton has been brought into Godot and been mapped, that animation data knows how to work with whatever skeleton it's attached to. So that's the way you need to think about it. Let's uh, dive into it. And just so we have something to work with, I'm going to pull up the basic Ybot with just a basic idle animation. So we have something to work with. I'm going to download, download this as FBX. Um, but again, we really need to bring this into Blender and turn it to a GLTF first. I know there's plugins, I know there's all that stuff, but GLTF is just going to work better, period. GLTF or GLB. I'm going to open Blender, delete all of this, file, import, FBX. I'm going to grab my download, idle, FBX. I have it here. Um, if I were to press play, you can see it's animated. I will just immediately file export as GLTF and drop that in my downloads folder as well. I'll just call him test. Test idle. Export. For my next character, I'm going to bring in a model that is not coming from Mixamo, but was made in Blender. And given a skeleton that is Mixamo-like, simply it has the same bones, um, which is the same standard bones that you'd see in Unity or uh, Unreal, the most basic game engine bones. But I'll bring that over as well, exporting that as GLTF. Uh, Manny Quinn blank is just fine. I'll, I'll export to that. Okay, so now in Godot, I'm, I'm in a new project here. Um, I need to add those files. I'm going to click change the view so I can see where I can drag and drop in those files. We'll go to our downloads. I grab my test title and my Manny Quinn GLBs and drop them in. All right, so now we're at that important step where I need to point its skeleton to Godot to make it a compatible skeleton that can be that where we can pull out its animation data and share it. So. First, let's uh, double click this model. I will click on its skeleton, and we need to map its bones. So I'll make a new bone map. I'll select that. Uh, we'll pick a humanoid for its profile. And look at that. This Mixamo skeleton already knew what to do. It already mapped every single joint. These are all green. This is fantastic. So I'll just re-import, and that one's done. Uh, Manny Quinn, now, again, this is one that I've made, and so we'll see what happens. I'll double click here. I will click on my skeleton. I will make a new bone map. I'll click on that to edit it. Select a new humanoid. And look at this. We've run into a little bit of an issue. Some of these are red and some of these are green, which might mean that they are all wrong, which is very likely. Um, so clicking on this, oh, I can see that the bones that it has are likely looking at my rig and not my actual bones. So let's, uh, like, for example, this is my root. If I click here, I can see, yeah, we got all these control uh, empties. These would be from Blender from, from the rig, uh, but they would have nothing to do with the actual bones. The bones are up here. Um, sometimes these have different names. Sometimes you'll see them with def, meaning a deformed bone. So what I need to go through here and do is remap all these bones in here because they're all incorrect. And uh, I don't even have a root bone, so this one should be completely blank. So I'm going to delete that. I'll pause the video for a moment, and what I'm going to do right now with you guys gone is I'm going to start with the hips. I'm going to click on the hips and I'll point it to the actual deformed bone hips, not the uh, control, because those things aren't going to do anything. So I'm going to have to map the hips, and then I'll have to select the next spine, and the next spine, going all the way up my neck. But I will pause the video so you guys don't have to watch me go through every single one of these, but I'm going to have to do it for all the arms, 
And for the sake of this video, I probably won't do anything uh, hands related. So we'll just uh, get that going. So I will pause the video real quick. I will take care of this and I'll come back in a moment. All right, finally, went through every single bone here, and now they are all properly mapped to where they're supposed to be. If I had left any of these red, they simply won't inherit the animations um, that I will pass to it later on. So for example, I'm not doing the left and right hands, so later, once I pass this model uh, new animations, you'll notice that his hands won't actually animate because I'm not bothering to map those bones right now. All right, let's, uh, so I'll re-import and we'll keep going. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we need to separate this NLA data, this animation data, from the Mixamo model and make it its own file that can be used by other models, um, as long as they have a compatible skeleton. So in Godot, again, I'm gonna go to that uh, Mixamo model that has the idle animation. I will open that as its own scene. You can see this animation player works. Cool, cool, he looks just great. I will click this animation button here, manage animations. Step one is to make this unique. If you try to save it without, it'll just give you an error. So go ahead and make unique first, and then we'll save this. I'll name this uh, idle animation. I'll just name it idle anim. So you know this is an idle animation file, its own a res file, a resource file of just that animation data. I've saved that now separate. Um, in fact, if I wanted to, I could call this idle animation. Now here's, a, here's our chance to actually uh, make this easier to, to read and see. So anyway, I'll, I'll save that again. All right, now I'll close. Cool. We don't need him anymore. We've extracted the animation data. So now on my destination, my model B, this guy, I need to just give him that animation. So this will be great. Um, if my animation, if my uh, file, here I'll open a new thing. Um, if he already had animations, he'll have an animation player already, and you'll just add the animation to that animation player. Um, but in the case of this guy, he doesn't have an animation player, so I'm going to add a new one. Uh, yeah, animation player. And I will then click here, animation, manage animations, load library, and you can see I've got this anim res file, this resource file. Let's open that up. And then I highly recommend whenever you do this to now make this unique for this character as well. If you don't make it unique, that means if you have multiples of this character running around, say these are bad guys, they're all sharing that same, that literal same animation file. And so there'll be either some will run it and some won't, or one will be the only one who actually has laid, laid claim on that animation file. You don't want them to do that. You don't want them to be tied to that animation file. So you give them the animation with the animation file and then make it unique so they're not all fighting over that same file at runtime. Anyway, look, you can see he immediately took a pose. If I hit play, look at that. It's working using the animation just fine. Perfect. So if I had more animations, uh, or I wanted to add to this animation library, like build out a full animation library, again, I just go to uh, this, I, I would click animation, manage animations, I would load library, and I'd pick whatever other animation files I had. It will add another entry for them in here, and I will make that unique and blam, he now has it, right? I can also strip all these back out. And look, he now has no animations again. He just has a pose. So cool stuff. That's all it takes. Good luck, everybody.